Welcome back to the tutorial. Here we're going to be expanding the overworld a little bit more. Before we do that, I want to fix up a few graphical oversights that I had earlier. You don't have to do this, I'm just doing it because I'm a perfectionist. And that's it. So now, we're going to make another screen here to the right. Let's make sure that it lines up properly. And this screen is going to have a shop on it. So I'll have to teach you how to make a shop as soon as I get done drawing it all. So let's fill in this wall, add some more trees. I want this one to be able to go down, but not right. Um, okay, that looks decent. Let's fill in the ground. Now the shop is going to be a simple staircase, but it's surrounded by some blocks. You have to get rid of those blocks by bombing them. Where will you get the bombs? Will you get those on the next screen? So let me make that before I build the shop. Let's go down one, make everything match, and this is going to be another one. This is a dead end, so you can make this sort of go like that. Let's see. Okay. Matches up. Fill in the bottom. Put in some corner blocks. Change these top ones. And then fill in the ground. Now, this screen is going to use two Armo statues as a sorry. Only actually only one Armo statue and also a bush. If you scroll down, you'll find a bush tile. It has the type of slash. Now here's where things are going to be getting a little bit tricky. But I'll get to that in a minute. First let's go back to the shop. Now if you want to be able to bomb those rocks, you have to put a flag on them. So switch to the bomb flag, which is number six, mark each of them with it, and then put in your secret combo for bomb. For bomb there's two, the first is regular, the second one is a super bomb, so click the first, find a proper C set, um, let's use this, the dark sand color again, and actually these blocks should be brown, these rocks should be brown. Okay, so that's all set up now. Let's put a blue square to make sure that you come out of the stairs correctly. Actually, you can put the blue square there because the, the, the rock will be gone after you bomb it. It won't ever come back. Now, here's how to set the shop. It's very simple. Set the tile warp to screen 80, like with anything else. Then, set a guy. Let's make it Emma, the old woman. Uh, message string, I'll get to that in a second. Room type, you just want to set to shop. It's as simple as that. Then catch all, just shop type. You have to set the shop type in misc data. So you go to quest, misc data, shop types. You'll see you have 15 or 16 shop types to work with. Let's edit the first one. Here we only want to have one item. And the item that they're selling at this shop is the raft. Let me see if I can find that. If you type it in, Occasionally it will work. Apparently it doesn't want to work now. So we have to search through the whole list until we find the raft. It's right there. And I did not select it apparently. I guess you have to double click it. Okay. And let's make it 40 rupees. And while I'm thinking about it, let's make a new string. You will need this raft to reach the dungeon. We're going to need a dungeon later. I have some of this planned ahead. So anyway, the raft will lead to the dungeon. Uh, let's set the string. Set the shop type to zero, which it already is. Uh, I believe that. Okay, now this next one 
is going to be a bit more complicated because it's going to use two different things at once. Now, we want to have some bombs hidden under the bush and have a money room hidden under the armos. So, first let's work on the bush. You're going to cut the bush, so you need to have an under combo for it. That would be this. So select that and place it as an under combo. Then to make an item appear under the bush, you need to set this to a special item room. Keep in mind that this time the special item room is being applied to this room, not to screen 80. And set the special item room as some bombs. Here it says bomb 1. I think there's... No, maybe not. Okay, and set that. I thought there was one that had more, but I don't know. We'll see if how that works. And here's how you tell the game to put the bombs under it. You need to use a flag. It's called Armos Item. And I know that it's a bush, not an Armos, but you use this flag for Armoses as well as slash things, such as bushes or treasure chests. That's how you put items under them. So now for the Armos. To put a staircase under that, we'll need another flag, Armos Secret. So place the flag on it, and it calls something for combos. It uses stair. This is one of the things that stair is used for. So find the correct color for stairs, select it, and that's all dandy. Now, you might think that you want to have that cave lead to screen 80, but keep in mind that we already set a special item room here. So that's not going to work. We need to make a different kind of cave. So here we're going to venture into some different territory and make a cave that doesn't use screen 80. Um, normally you'd probably want to have this on a different map than the overworld, but for now let's keep it on the same map because this is just a tutorial. So go down to screen 80, press C to copy the room, move up to a blank spot that you probably won't be visiting, and press V to paste it. Now notice there's a little red dot on the screen, like down here in the map. That's because it uses, it uses a different palette. You can use any of the number keys to change the palette, and the one that Cave uses is, oops, is palette A. So you need to set that to A. However, doing that is only for aesthetics inside ZQuest. To make the game recognize it, you need to have a D-map set aside for it. So let's make a new D-map. We'll call it Cave. The type will be Cave. Map 1. Continue, 0, 0. We don't want to continue here. There will be no music here. Uh, palette, or color, I mean, is here for Caves. And that should be all that you need to set for this one. Hit the map, no media. I think everything here is right. So now we have another D-map set. And we'll have to set all the info for the money cave here, instead of on the overworld screen, because this isn't a screen 80. So let's set a guy. We'll make it a merchant. I'm trying to use all the different guys here. Uh, run type should be secret money. And then amount will set to 40, the same as what the raft is worth. Now let's make another message string. Let's go with the standard, it's a secret to everybody. That's what this said in the original quest. So let's put in the message string. Now here, we have something else set up, because normally when you leave screen 80, it'll automatically take you back to the other place, but here it's a little bit more complicated than that. So first of all, let's go back here, set up the blue square, but also the green square, because you'll be leaving the D-map. Orb. This time we're using D-map 1, the cave. Type is not cave item room, it's an entrance exit. 
because you're going to a different DMAP. Screen is zero, 00. If you hit go, it'll take you here. Now this one doesn't use a tile warp, it uses a side warp because you leave the screen by going off the side. So you have to set, wait, what's that room number? It is 79. So side warp goes to 79 on the overworld, type, entrance, exit, and you have to mark which side of the screen has the warp on it. So, I think that's all for this time. Next time we'll be testing that and also adding some new screens. I actually just remembered there's something else I forgot to add. Very important. On this cave screen, you need to set the green and blue tiles. Without those, you'll appear in the corner of the screen and it won't work.